a total mess, and even that isn't enough to really describe what happened today at the Queens Midtown Tunnel. Both tubes shut down after a construction worker drilled a hole and released the water from the East River, pouring into the tunnel. More than 80,000 cars a day use that tunnel. Drenched in water from the river isn't a good place to be. Here's Sonia Rincon. The thought of being in a car going through a tunnel when it springs a leak might rank among New Yorkers' worst fears. It happened in the Queens Midtown Tunnel's south tube after a city contractor's drill perforated it from the outside at around 1230 this afternoon. We determined it was the drilling contractor who uh, drilled about a two and a half inch hole through the cast iron liner, which is above the, the exhaust duct. The mayor got a look inside the leaky south tube tonight with East River water still dribbling through the exhaust ducts as the MTA got it pumped out and patched up. Both tubes were back open before rush hour was over, but the backups would take hours to clear with only bicycles getting past the bottleneck on 2nd Avenue. It's been horrible. We haven't moved. I've been in that intersection like blocking it for three lights. It was, it, was, it was so bad. The gridlock tonight here on 2nd Avenue in the East 30s and 40s is kind of like a preview of UN General Assembly week next week. Drivers are frustrated, bored and barely moving. Half I've been hour. over there for a half hour. Two blocks. Where are you trying to go? Home. <laughs> are you going through the tunnel? Unfortunately, the reason for the drilling that led to the mishap had to do with the City Economic Development Corporation's work on a new esplanade by the UN along the river. They were doing in investigative uh, drilling to determine geotechnical conditions in the river. This is an important part of the design process. But more important, according to officials tonight, is making sure this doesn't happen again. I'll be praying as I drive through the tunnel. On the east side, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.